Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make this layered three tier tutu. So, it came out super cute. This is, this is actually for an order, so. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you how to do it where it's three different lengths and it comes out super cute. So, let me just tell you what the materials that you're going to need. So, the material that you're going to need is the tool. These are the colors that I'm using. You can use as many colors as you want. You can use um, less colors depend, depending on what you want to do. But um, I'm, gonna, I'm using hot pink, purple, yellow, and this turquoise um, color. And uh, you can just get the 25 yard rolls, which uh, like this one, this one's 25 yards. You don't need necessarily the, the 100 yard or the 40 yard roll. Um, but yeah. Uh, for the amount of tool, you can just get the 25 yard rolls, which would be more than enough, depending on what size you're making. So, um, yeah, you're also going to need this crochet material on the spool. You can get these at Hobby Lobby. They have them in the ribbon section at Hobby Lobby, so just get that and just cut out. I'll have all the sizes um, here on the on the screen. So, um, for how, how, how many inches you need for each size. So, um, and that's what you just cut, and then you just sew it or glue it together right here. And this would be, this is going to be the waistband right here, which I had already pre-made right now. Um, paper towel roll to put this on, or a mannequin, but I like to use a paper towel roll because it does not stretch it too much. You don't want it to stretch too much while you're putting the tool on. Um, you want it just to be like loosely on something, uh, so that way you can put the the tool on and not stretch it out too much. You're also going to need a nice sharp pair of scissors or a pair of fabric scissors, whatever you choose. And then you're also going to need something to measure out your tool with. I do have a tutorial on a quick and easy way that I measure tool. I just use cardboard pieces. I've had these cardboard pieces for eh, since probably 2011, 2012. So I've had them for a while and they're, they still hold up. Um, so yeah. You're just going to need three different sizes. The biggest size you're going to need is the, the size of the tutu that you're making, which I'm making a size uh, 18 to 24 months. So this, uh, for the bottom layer of this tutu, you're going to need the biggest size. And then um, just go down, go down sizes for, this is the middle layer, which is 12 to 18 months size. And then for the small layer, I did a newborn size. So um, that way the three tier tutu will have different sized layers. So let's get Okay, so before you start cutting your tool, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to count the holes. So, um, which is how many strips, depending on how many holes, each size and each, even if I make like two of the same tutu of the same size, they're going to have a different amount of holes because you're not going to be cutting the exact same amount of holes every time you cut off the spool. Even the headbands come with different different amount of holes. So it does, like, I get this question all the time of how many strips do I make, which it all depends. It all depends on how many holes you have. Um, so, yeah, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to count. Sorry, my son is throwing toys. <laughs> so you're just going to count um, the holes. So you're going to start on the bottom right here. Actually, you know what? I think it's, yeah. I'm going to have this side as my bottom. So I usually start from the crease in the back. So I'm going to start right here and just count one, two, three, four, five, six. And you're just going to keep counting until you get all the way around on the other side. And then that's how many strips you're going to cut for that row, or for each row actually, I should say. So now I'm going to get the paper towel roll and I'm going to put this on it, just here at the top, so that it's not stretched out too much. And then I'm going to count how many holes. Okay, so there are 38 holes going all the way around, so I'm going to be cutting 38 strips of each. Don't touch, baby. So I'm going to get the biggest size, which is the size that you're going to be doing for the bottom layer, which is whatever size the child is, whichever size the child is uh, wearing. So, sorry, my toddler. 
Whatever size the child is wearing, that's what size the bottom layer is going to be. So if they wear a size 2T or 18 months, whatever, this is, that's the size that the bottom layer is going to be. So let me go ahead and cut 38. One, two, Thirty-eight. So I'm going to cut this piece off, and then you're going to cut it on both ends. Cut it in a straight line, and then we're going to put this color to the side, and then we're going to get the next size, which is going to be the middle layer. And you're going to do the middle color, which in this case, for me, it's yellow. And you're just going to put that color to the side as well. No. And then you're going to get the smallest size. No. And we're going to be cutting. We're going to be cutting 19 strips of each of these colors because 19 plus 19 is 38. So, because these, these two colors are both going to be at the top. Okay, so I got some rubber bands to um, tie off the tool on the end so that way it's just not getting tangled everywhere. So we're going to start with the bottom layer. So the bottom layer we're doing the blue for this tutu. So go ahead and just put all, I don't know if you guys know how to attach tool to the crochet band, but what you do is you just, I don't know if you guys saw me, just get it, fold it in half, you can see, fold it in half, and then pinch it here at the end and then in the bottom hole where my finger is right here you're going to slip it in like that pull it down a little bit open it up and slip it through and then pull it but don't pull it tight just tug it so that it's comfortable because you don't want to pull it too tight so let's do it again just gonna get it fold it in half Get the, the hole right next to it, stick it in, pull it down a little bit, open it up, slip it through, and then pull it. And now what I like to do is that I like to just get a rubber band and just li lightly hold it off to the side. You don't want it to tie it too tight. You don't want to make a crease in the tool. So just go ahead and keep doing that until you go all the way around the bottom layer. Okay, so I just finished the first layer, as you guys can see, the bottom layer. And now we're going to work on the next layer, which is going to be the color yellow for this tutu. So you're basically just going to do the same thing. So you're just going to get your strip, fold it in half like that. And then on this one, oops, hold on. The way you put it in is you're going right where this first one is, this hole that's right here, you're going to put it in like this and then push it out through the hole down there so it looks like that. I hope you guys can see this, there you go. So you just pull it through, open it up a little bit, 
slip it through and then pull it just like that and then what I like to do is that I just like to add it to just like to add it to that um, rubber band right there so that way it's just not in the way and it's not all over the place so now you're just going to do the whole second layer just like that let me do that again so you guys can see okay, you're just going to fold your piece in half and see there's this is the next piece right there you're going to put it in through this square right there and it's going to come out through that square down there so you're going to push it through that one up there push it through the one right below it just like that open it up slip it through and pull it so let me go ahead and finish all of the yellow on the second row Okay, so I just finished the second layer. The second layer is done, and uh, now I'm going to be doing the third layer. So let me go ahead and show you that. Okay, so now we're doing the last layer. So I'm going to be doing the pink and purple. So I'm just alternating. I already put a purple one, so now I'm going to put a pink, and then just going to go in back and forth, pink, purple, pink, purple. So what you do is basically you just fold it in half again. You're going to go through the top right here and into that hole. It's right there. And then just, you know, do the same thing you were doing before. Open it up, slip it through, and then tighten it. Hopefully you guys saw that. So, and then, of course, I'm just going to pull it to the side with the rubber band. So I did a pink. Now I'm going to do a purple. And I'm just going to keep going back and forth. So I go through the top and into the hole. And then just keep going back and forth, alternating the colors until you make it all the way around. Okay, so the last layer, whoops, sorry guys, last layer is finished. What? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, my daughter's getting a little fussy, I gotta feed her right now, so. Yeah, so the last layer is finished. So now I'm gonna show you how to put a bow. How to make the bow and how to put it on um, the tutu. So I'm gonna make a nice, cute bow to go along with this. Okay, so what you're gonna need to make the bow is, you're going to need one, uh, you can use any size ribbon that you want, but for the bottom one I'm going to use 1.5 inch wide ribbon, and it's going to be 24 inches long. And the next one is, is 7 eighths of an inch wide ribbon, and it is 21 inches long, and then the one on the top is another 7 8 wide ribbon, and it's going to be 18 inches long. So go ahead and cut. <laughs> So go ahead and cut um, your strips and then I'm going to show you what to do. So after you cut your strips, you're going to take this one, fold it in half like this, make a crease like so, and then when you open it up you're going to see that there's a crease. So what you're going to do is you're going to loop it over like this and then take the bottom part and loop it over like that to make two loops with a tail that hangs down. So go ahead and do that and then once you have that flip it over to the back and then you're going to do the accordion fold which is like fold it in like this, fold it back, fold it over again, fold it back and then fold it over again. So that way it looks like this in the front. 
So after you do that, you're going to get your needle and thread, and you're going to slip it through just like that. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to wrap it around and then tie it off. And then just take it back and then just fix it so that the loops look nice. So go ahead and do the same thing to the other two strips of ribbon. So now what you're going to do is you're going to get the piece that's going to go on the back, the biggest piece, and you're just going to add a little bit of glue right here, and then we're going to put the one that's going to go in the middle, just glue it down right there in the middle, right there in the center. You're going to do the same thing with the piece that's going to go on top, just add a little bit of glue, a pot glue, and then place that piece right there. Just like that. So that way the bow looks like this. And so now you're going to get either 3 8 of an inch wide ribbon or whatever you choose. I'm going to be using 3 8 of an inch wide. So I'm just going to get a little piece like this. It's probably about maybe 2 inches or so. And I, I'm using the color that I put on the back to wrap around the center. So. On the back, we're just going to add a little dot of glue, put just like that, and then wrap it around all the way to the back again, and then just glue it down. So please be very careful with the hot glue. If your fingers are not used to it, please be very, very, very careful. Okay. So once you get that all set up, then just turn it back over and then just fix your loops how you want it to look. And now we're going to put it on the tutu. But before we do that, we're going to cut the ends. So I like to cut these at angles. And I like the points to be facing down. And then the yellow one, I'm going to do it a little bit higher. And then the pink one, a little bit higher as well. So it looks like that. And the same thing on the other side. Okay, and so this blue one is a little bit uneven, so I'm just going to cut a little bit more off on this side. There. Just so that it looks even like that. And then of course you're going to get your lighter and heat seal. Okay, so I have it on the tutu now. So this is what it's going to look like when it's on the actual tutu. I'll show you what it looks like on, I think I have one already. Yeah, here. I already have one here. So there's this one here that I put on um, this tutu. So this is what it looks like while it's on. I actually have a tutorial on how to attach bows and flowers to your tutus. So I'll put the link to that tutorial down below in the description. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys for the next one. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below or send me a message on my fan page.